The Emperor's New Clothes Many years ago, an emperor possessed an extravagant passion for new clothes, investing all his wealth in his wardrobe, neglecting his soldiers and eschewing the theatre. His outings were reserved solely for flaunting his latest attire, donning a different suit each hour. Most kings convened in councils, but the emperor was often humorously remarked upon as sitting in his wardrobe. Two self-proclaimed weavers arrived in town, boasting expertise in weaving splendidly colored and patterned cloth. They claimed their creations would be invisible to those unfit for their roles or possessing simple character. Intrigued, the emperor envisioned a means to identify the capable from the foolish in his kingdom. Eagerly, he bestowed large sums upon the weavers to commence their work immediately. The duplicitous weavers set up looms, appearing industrious while doing nothing. They requested the finest silk and purest gold thread, storing them in their knapsacks. Throughout the day, they feigned labor at the empty looms, reserving their true efforts for the night. Curious about the progress, the emperor contemplated the invisible cloth and grew anxious. Unwilling to reveal his concern, he decided to send his faithful old wise man to inspect the weaver's work. The wise man, entering the hall, widened his eyes in astonishment, realizing there was no thread on the looms. Diplomatically silent, he played along when the weavers inquired about the cloth's appeal. Praising the non-existent fabric, the old wise man committed the details to memory. The weavers, pretending to be hard at work, requested more silk and gold. The emperor, eager for news, sent another courtier to assess the situation, who, like the wise man, lauded the invisible cloth. The entire kingdom buzzed about the extraordinary fabric. Finally, the emperor, accompanied by officers and those who had praised the unseen cloth, visited the weavers. Although the weavers intensified their faux efforts, the emperor saw nothing. Fearful of admitting his inability to perceive the cloth, he smiled graciously, praising the non-existent beauty. As the parade day approached, the thieves continued their charade, working feverishly in the presence of lit candles. They announced the completion of the emperor's new clothes, describing the garment's weightlessness and ethereality. The emperor, undressing for a fitting, marveled at his invisible attire before parading through the streets. The people, caught up in the collective illusion, praised the non-existent clothes until a child innocently exclaimed, but the emperor has nothing at all on. The truth spread, and despite the embarrassment, the emperor pressed on with the procession, his courtiers pretending to hold an invisible train.